What's going on guys, I'm Brandon from Walker's Woodworks. Today I have another kind of shop tip video for you. My table saw is in need of some care. I got some rust spots and some other spots that I'm not even sure what else it is, but it needs to come off. So I'm gonna take you through the steps of how I clean my table saw top, as well as some preventative maintenance to hopefully keep it from happening again. Stick around and I'll show you how I do it. So basically stuff like this is what we're looking at. Got a little bit of rust there. Some of these spots, which I'm not positive are gonna come out, but we're gonna try our best. And I think this is actually just some finish left over because I'm messy. So let me set this up and I'll show you guys the steps I take. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take out the throat insert plate, whatever you wanna call it, set that aside and then lower the blade all the way down to get it out of your way. Also, I'd probably advise unplugging your table saw, which I'm doing right now. You can't see it, but I'm doing it. There. So now, uh, I usually start out with like 600 grit sandpaper. This is a mesh paper, but you can pretty much use anything. Uh, you may have to go lower in grit. We'll just see how this pans out and see what it looks like, so. So that's taking a little bit of it off, but I think I'm gonna go to a lower grit to uh, get some of this heavier stuff off here. So this is 400. I don't wanna go too low, but if uh, this doesn't take it off, I may drop down to 320 and just see. But uh, if you go too low, then you'll end up with scratches in the metal and you don't really want that. So see what happens. So 400 is not really taking it off that great. I'm gonna try 320 and hopefully I don't scratch the top of it, but it should be fine. We'll see. One thing you really wanna to try to do is keep it flat so you don't end up with little divots anywhere. You don't wanna dig in with the edge to get try to get a spot off or anything. Um, these are actually stains and I think they're probably gonna stay in there. So I'm going to move on to the rest of this. I did get the rust off. There was a little bit of surface rust right here. I don't know if you could see it on the camera or not, but it's gone. So I'm gonna move over to this side and see if I can get this stuff off. And then once that's done, I'll move up in the grits and uh, do the whole thing. These are actually really bugging me and I can't get most of this off. So I'm actually gonna try 220 and just see. Uh, I don't see any scratches at all. I've never gone that low or needed to, but I saw I was getting a lot of use, stains. I don't like them. I'm gonna try 220, see what happens. If you guys do have a table saw that's like full of rust and needs a full restoration, I would just start down at like 80 or 60 grit because you're gonna have to take that all the way back down to bare metal anyway and just kind of go from there. It's gonna be a pretty big project, but you can do it. I have done it with Joiner before and turned out really good. But it, when you're in a finished state like this, you just don't wanna dig in too much because then you'll have to just start all over basically. Um, so let's see what this 220 does though. That worked a lot better. Um, I still don't see any scratches and I still see crap in there. So get real crazy, go to 180, see what happens. Stay. I set out with a plan for this video and it's uh, not working out. So you guys are learning with me as I go. Check that out. So that got a lot more out, but not quite all of it. Um, I don't wanna go any lower in grit because I am starting to see a little bit of scratching. Um, so I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna move back up in the grits now and get all that back out and maybe polished up. It's gonna have stains on it. I use this all the time, gives it a uh, character. There you go. So I'm gonna finish this side up and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, I went back over the whole thing with 220. 
And now moving on to 320, it's looking a lot better. Um, it's still got all the spots, but I don't really care about those. I did get all the rust off. Now I'm just trying to smooth it all back out. So I sanded the whole thing back up to 600 grit and it's pretty good. I could probably stop now, but I'm gonna try these 1000 grit pads from Merca. They're Abrolon. Um, just see if I can get it polished up a little bit better. I got some even higher grits up to like 4,000. I don't think I'm gonna go that high, but I'm gonna try this out and see what happens. It might actually tear on these corners, but we'll see. All right, so what I got here is just a rag and some mineral spirits, and I'm just gonna clean it off to make sure, get all that metal dust and debris and everything off before I apply the paste wax. Just go through and clean it all really good. I was hoping maybe this would take some of those stains out too, but I don't think it's going to. You can see how much Metal dust, I hope you guys can see that. Gross. I'm just gonna go through and do this. And then probably go back over it again one more time just to make sure I got it all. Get in the grooves and everything too because the dust I'm sure fell down in there. Gonna go back over, not add anymore, just try to wipe off what's there. Just keep going over it until you get a clean rag and you get all of the mineral spirits off. Probably gonna switch to paper towels here in a second. There's something a little more absorbent, but I wanna get all the black off first. Yeah, that'll be okay. Uh, don't leave these wadded up in the corner. Might start a fire. Once you get this clean, I'll show you how to put the paste wax on. So the last step is this paste wax. You guys have seen me use it a bunch of times. This will seal the metal as well as create a surface for the wood to slide across really easy. Pop it open, looks like that. Just take a rag, different rag than you cleaned with, obviously. Maybe a smaller rag than this. <laughs> Just get some on the rag and start wiping it on. You don't want to go too crazy, but definitely get a good layer on there. And once you get the whole thing covered, you want to let it dry. And once it's dry for five or so minutes, go back with a dry cloth and buff it off. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Let that dry for about five, 10 minutes. All right, now that it's been about 10 minutes, just go back. And basically just wipe off the excess, but you want to kind of push hard, buff it in, get all of the extra off. And you want to reapply the wax, clean it, reapply the wax, probably, I don't know, once a week maybe. Just keep some on there, depends on how much you use your saw. This same thing applies to your joiner, planer, band saw, basically anything with a bed that wood slides across. I put more over here, it's harder to get off. All right, it's all done. Put your insert back in, make sure it's all good. You can grab a piece of scrap and slide it across when you're done. You can already tell it's much better 
you guys just do a little bit to maintain your tools. We all should do more, I'm sure. But this is easy and it will help out a lot. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Like I said, apply this to all of your equipment. It will help, I promise. Give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment below if you like these kind of videos or uh, with other kind of videos you want to see in the future. I'll leave links to everything I use in the video in the description below, as always. And I will catch you guys on the next one.